In this video, we're going to trace the Apple logo using functions and other tools uh, in GeoGebra. So we are going to apply what you have learned in transformation on functions in order to trace the curves in the Apple logo. Okay, so as you can see, this curve here looks like a quadratic function. And I think the most basic quadratic function that you have learned is x squared, you know, f of x equals x squared. So let's type f of x equals x squared. Now, what you want to do is to move or to translate this function to the left by two units so that the vertex of the parabola goes to x equals negative two or to negative two zero. And from what you have learned, what do you think we will do with uh, equation of f. Do we subtract 2? Do we add 2? And where? No. So you think about it, uh, pause the video for uh, a minute, and then think about it. All right, so I hope you pause the video and uh, you know now the answer. So what we do is we um, add 2 to the input. And where is the input? The input is the x. So x, we uh, add 2 in order to move the vertex to the left by 2 units. Okay, So I press Enter. Now the, the graph is a little bit steeper. And we want it to be a little bit wide. So what do you do? Again, you can pause the video anytime and think about it and see if your answer is correct. Okay. Now, uh, in uh, making this the opening wider, we multiply by a number that is less than one. So for example, if you multiply this by two, you will see that the graph is uh, narrower. So we multiply this by, say, one half. And let's see what happens. Okay. So it's almost the same as the curve. But maybe we, have, we want to adjust a little bit. So maybe we make it like 45 hundredths. OK, so it's almost perfect. And since we can see a, a bit of gap here, maybe we can make the graph a little bit thicker. So we set this to 9, for example. OK, so now we set the domain from which value of x is this part here up to here. So this part here is around maybe four, four and a half, or more than four and a half, maybe four, four and six tenths probably. So let's see. So x must be, that's negative, negative four and six tenths, okay? Or maybe we want to extend it a little bit to the left, maybe four and seven tenths. Okay. And then here, this is not exactly two, it's um, more than two. So maybe it's around uh, negative one and seven tenths. So it must be less than or equal to negative one and seven tenths. Okay, so I think this is perfect. Next, we create another curve here, which is also uh, appears to be a quadratic function. So let's have another curve, c of x equals x squared. Again, we start with x squared. And this time, we want to move it to the right, and we want the vertex to be at 2, 0. What do we do to move? this uh, function to the right, to move the graph to the right by two units. So we not add, but we subtract two this time. And again, it's a bit steeper than we want it to be. So maybe we just copy this, the 4,500s here. Let's see if it's exact. Maybe it's the same. All right, so it's almost exact. And even though we have a gap here, uh, we can make, again, the, the line uh, thicker. 
or the curve thicker. So this is nine and I think it's perfect. And now we want to uh, set the domain. Uh, maybe we can we can use this. Maybe this time from one, one and seven tenths to four and seven tenths. So let's see. X is from one and seven tenths to four and seven tenths. Okay, so I think the one and seven tenth is okay, but the four and seven tenth is uh, like more than the, the actual X value here. So maybe six, four and six tenths, um, a little bit over the, the, the graph or over the curve. So maybe four and a half. Okay, so we are, sh we are short of a couple of points. So maybe four and 55 hundredths. Okay, that's perfect. Next, we uh, trace this curve. Of course, we can use quadratic function here. We can use a quadratic function that opens downward, but we want to use another function. Say, I want a cosine function. Now, if you remember your cosine function, it's um, symmetric about the y-axis. So maybe we can have g of x equals, oh, maybe h of x this time, h of x, is equal to cosine x. Right, so as you can see, the height here is almost half of this part here. So maybe we can multiply the output by one half. So multiplying the output by one half, uh, as you have learned, is actually um, vertical scaling. And this time we are shrinking the, the value. So meaning the height will be um, shorter, okay? So we are almost, uh, the, the curve is almost perfect, but it doesn't meet the, the, the two curves here. So maybe we can translate it up a bit. And translating up a bit, as you have learned, is adding positive number to the output. By the way, I was talking about output and input the output here is the entire equation. Like, for example, here, the output is 45 hundredths times x minus 2 squared. And the input is actually the x. Okay, So here, for example, if I want to add x to the input and not the output, then I will add the, if I will add 1 tenth or 1 hundredth, but in this case, we're talking about one tenth. If I want to add one tenth to the input, I will add one tenth to the to to the value of x. So this is adding to the input. But as I have said, we are adding to the output. So this is the entire output of our function, which means that we add here. Okay, and. It's a little bit higher than the, the, the actual curve. So maybe we want to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. And still a bit higher. So maybe, okay, I think this is okay. Or maybe 35, 3,500. Okay, this is perfect. And again, we make it thicker. And the domain is from, if you look at here, it's from negative 1 and 7 tenths to uh, 1 and uh, 7 tenths. So our domain here can make it uh, negative from negative 1 and 7 tenths to uh, 1 and 7 tenths. All right, so it's perfect, perfectly fits. Next is I want to 
uh, trace this curve here. We have already used uh, cosine, so maybe we want to use sine. Of course, as I've said earlier, you can use any curve you want, no? and you can manipulate the parameters to to fit the curve. No, but what I'm I'm um, demonstrating is that you can use multiple curves just to make it uh, more beautiful, and uh, uh, of course, to show your 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 uh, knowledge of math. No, um, using multiple curves and multiple functions, of course. Uh, showcases your knowledge in mathematics. And that is what we want you to do. Okay. Next is we use sine x. So uh, maybe j of x equals sine x. And we want to translate this up. So we add something or what we add a positive number to to the sine function to the output so maybe that is eight mm -hmm. and we want it to translate this to the right right so we want to put this here to align with with the, the curve here so where do we add or subtract so we subtract, going to the right, the subtraction from the input. So maybe we subtract two, which too much, maybe one, one and a half, almost, maybe one and four tenths, right? But still, we want to um, translate this up. So maybe nine, let's see nine. So as you can see, this is uh, really guess and check, but even though it's guess and check, it is an educated guess and check because you know what happens when you change the values, when you add, when you subtract, when you multiply uh, by the parameters. So this is not just a pure guess and check, but uh, an educated guess and check, right? And thus we, we want to make this um, a little bit Short, uh, the, the height we want to make it a little bit shorter. So again, we multiply uh, the sign by a number that is uh, smaller than one. So maybe half, do we want half? And then we want to translate it a bit lower, maybe eight and then one half. Uh, maybe eight and seven tenths. Okay, almost. And we want to make it a little deeper. The curve here, we want to make it a little deeper. So maybe add one test. All right. So almost perfect. And again, we change the, the thickness to nine just to, to um, cover the gaps. And what will be my domain? Or maybe you say this is from negative one and seven tenths to one and seven tenths. So let's try. X is between negative one and seven tenths. Seven tenths to one and seven tenths. Okay, so it's too much. This one is too much, like maybe one. One and five tenths. Still have to subtract. Two tenths. Still. One and one tenth. And for here, we have to have a Add a little bit, one and six tenth, no, one and five tenth. I think this is okay. okay. All right, so the curves are perfect. Now, sometimes we cannot use functions, like for example, here, we cannot use function because this will um, violate the, the, the vertical line. So, 
We can use other tools in GeoGebra. You have to explore on your own. We have this tool called the circumcircular arc where we just uh, plot three points and then we, we uh, use the arc of the circle. And this is this looks like an arc of a circle. So we can have three points and then use this tool. And also here, maybe this part. Well, of course, you can still look for functions if you want, no? And we encourage you to do so. But just to save time for this video, I'm going to use the circumcircular arc. And then another one here to here. Of course, you can adjust the points. Okay. If you want to adjust the points a little bit, it will, it will change the shape of the of the arcs. And I think you can also use here again. Uh, we encourage you to use functions because what we are doing is function art. But uh, due to time constraint, I'm going to use the circumcircular art. I think this one is good for maybe logarithmic function. So you can try that. And the last one. this one okay of course we have to um, change the position of the points so they're really approximate the curves right then we make the points oh we make the curves thicker and we can copy the style to make the, the curves to, to make everything uh, thicker, and of course you have to remove you have to remove the unnecessary objects to make your artwork beautiful. No? So you just right click on the objects that you don't need, and then click on show object. You don't delete them no? because if you delete them, of course the entire drawing will be deleted, or some parts of the drawing will be deleted. So be sure to uh, hide. Also, the objects and the labels. For example, here we have a label here C. Just right click on the label and then click on show label to hide it. Okay. So be sure that your artwork uh, is clean and beautiful. No, it's art, so it, it must be really clean. Okay, so I think you get the idea. Right, so this one is clean. So this is our artwork.